Welcome to Berlin. It has been 11 years ago since I was last time in Berlin. And uh, we are going to explore the art scene here in Berlin. And I'm very curious uh, if lots of things have changed and is Berlin st still the place to be uh, for contemporary art. Behind me you see a very famous landmark and that is a symbol uh, of the reunification of Berlin when East and West Berlin came together again. And um, we're going to walk from here towards Warschau Strasse and that is over the other side. Um, we cross the spray by the Schlesische Tor at Warschau Strasse, there is the East Side Gallery and from there we walk to Frankfurt Tor. And uh, well, I'm already excited, so follow me and uh, let's see what we find. Yeah, well, the nice thing about Berlin is that it is one big open air museum. You don't have to go to galleries or museum. Just walking uh, in any street, you see everywhere uh, very interesting gravities. And um, the, um, the, the city is full with it, and one is better than the other, uh, but it is very interesting. And you see basically everything that is happening with street art. And uh, yeah, if you like street art, then Berlin is the place to be. And just wander around, and you see enough of. Uh, hidden uh, uh, marbles. So, we continue. An old watchtower uh, from uh, East Berlin, where the soldiers uh, were looking that nobody was uh, crossing the border to West Berlin. And, uh, yeah, it, it's just a landmark now. Prost. What I really like about uh, uh, Berlin is that there is lots of free spaces. Uh, spaces uh, in uh, where there used to be old buildings, or the old buildings still exist, but they don't have a function anymore. And then people are free to create new functions. They can improvise, but just a few simple uh, interactions, they can create like this uh, floating uh, restaurant or all kinds of things. And, that freedom that is really inspiring and for me that is what makes Berlin unique. Well, on this side of the river Spree, so that is the, the side of uh, Schlesische Tor, I could not find the galleries that uh, I used to visit uh, 11, 12 years ago. Um, we only saw lots of uh, street art. Um, and speaking about sp street art, we are now going to cross the river Spree um, towards there. And what you see is a, a white wall it used to be part of the Berlin Wall, so the separation between communistic East Berlin and capitalistic West Berlin. Um, the part that is white um, is um, basically the wrong side, um, because that used to be East Berlin, and in East Berlin you could not do gravity. So um, the West Berliners made gravities on the Berlin Wall. So. Um, but for the tourists, 
they have reversed it. So when we are soon we are walking across the street on the other side, and there you see all the gravities. But normally they would be on this side, so visible from here, because um, uh, East Berliners were not allowed to do gravity, and they could not do it. And uh, but um, also that whole section of Berlin Wall is put there just for the tourists. Um, uh, in uh, 89, they were very happy to get rid of the Berlin Wall. And when almost everything was uh, away, suddenly they say, hey, but shouldn't we create some kind of monument for the wall? And uh, yes, we should where? And they say, well, here, it's empty uh, field, put it here. And so then they assembled all kinds of different pieces of Berlin Wall that still remained, placed it there with the images towards East Berlin. And now it is a tourist attraction, but it is not an authentic monument. But anyway, we are going to show you. Well, as you can see, it is very touristic uh, here. And um, what is interesting to know is that, uh, in contrary to uh, art uh, that has to be co conserved, um, like uh, the Night Watch of um, Rembrandt, um, you don't want to change that. So um, you do everything to keep the Night Watch of Rembrandt, the Night Watch of Rembrandt, with these pieces of uh, wall because of the, the weather, the sun, the snow, uh, hot, cold. Every two years they have to change it. They have to make a new uh, gravity. So um, all these gravities are made recent and uh, yeah, by, by new artists. And so art is for the people. And if the people don't go to museums, art has no choice to go where the people are. That's the street.
welcome at Raw. Raw is uh, used to be a railroad um, repair uh, kind of factory area. It's really huge area with lots of different buildings. And 10, 12 years ago, in the building behind me, there used to be a very interesting gallery. Uh, it was a little bit like punk attitude art. Um, now it is uh, empty. Um, what survived here in all those years are uh, the uh, concert hall, the rock bars and the indoor skate hall. And so that are the, the things that have survived during uh, more than a decade. But uh, unfortunately the uh, gallery space uh, is not longer here. We are still at Wo and there is an art gallery. It was all the way in the back. It is called Spray Art Gallery. And Spray is the river spray and not the spray paint. Um, the exhibition is called How to Kill a Gravity. And um, you see this really big mural. It is gravity, it is painting, it is everything mixed together. And I think it is very, very interesting to see all the different uh, pieces, so. And uh, first impression uh, is that I see uh, lots of influences from the uh, uh, German Welle art group with uh, Georg Bazelitz uh, and others. So I see some influences from that combined with uh, graffiti, the use of spray paint. And uh, I think it is very interesting, but also very Berlin. That, uh, It is now the end of the afternoon, so we end our day of sightseeing, looking at uh, art. And uh, I'm happy that we found this uh, gallery. It is the Urban Spray Gallery, and the artist's name is How to Kill a Gravity. And he spent in the winter four months in this uh, area, and there he started to make this art piece. So it is made here, inspired by here, and now also shown here. Uh, tomorrow we have another day. And um, what I like is that, uh, well, of course, we were hoping to see more galleries, um, but um, you just make the best of what you get. And uh, we had a very joyful day, and um, Berlin is just an open-air museum. So even if you don't find the galleries, uh, there's still lots of art to see, just uh, in public space. So uh, come to Berlin and enjoy, and I go quickly to dry place.